different today. I thought I would show you how I work from home um, making reborn dolls. Now, let's just have a little disclaimer here. I used to do this full time. Um, I used to completely be at home, home based, and make about eight to ten dolls a week. Um, so I was a bit like a factory. I was constantly painting and you know putting dolls together and and getting them out. And I had the time to do it. But at the moment. I actually do work 25 hours a week so this is just something that I do because I love doing it and um, you know I've not been able to completely stop so uh, yeah I've been making reborn dolls now for about eight years um, I really enjoy making them otherwise I would have completely stopped uh, and just stayed at work but um, yeah it just it gives me a little bit of extra pocket money and also I really enjoy doing it so let me show you what I do. Right, so the reborn dolls that I've been making lately are um, Nines Donnell kits. I am about to stop making them. If you wanted to get one of these ones, uh, there is a link on my YouTube channel to my Etsy shop. Uh, the last few that I'm going to do are on there. So um, they are made to order and I tend to make them for um, older children. The kits are sewn in limbs rather than being jointed. Um, they are tested as well for safety, which is great. Um, I get these kits from the only person that does the supplies for nines in the UK. Um, she's ever so good. You can see on the back it says Nine Suzette. I don't know if you can see that. But this is a Molly Marie doll. Um, she is my favourite one to paint. So I'm going to go ahead and paint her. And let me show you, this is my box of goodies. Um, this is pretty much everything that I use to make my dolls. Uh, you can see in here I've got my paints, I've got some rooting needles, there's mohair in there somewhere. Um, I use these um, tights or stockings to make weighting bags. Um, these are the paints that I'll be using today. And my palette, and then I've, obviously I've got my... Um, paint brushes and then I use this I, I use air dry paint so this is glass and tile medium you can only get it in America I can't find it in the UK so I have to have it shipped over but this is the stuff that makes it stick and seals the paint to the doll so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and paint my baby and I shall be back so these are the colors that I'll be using um, I've got a dark blue a dark red and a purple today um, she's already had a skin coat, so I'll just be doing details and stuff today. And then I'm going to paint on some nails and some hair. Right, so I've done all of her detailing. I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but it definitely looks a lot different. And she is perfect. I'm really pleased with the way she's turned out. So I'm just going to paint nails and then I'm going to do hair. Um, so she's got her hair painted on. These ones I paint the hair on. And then her little face is all done. I don't know if you can see the detail in it. But I just need to fill her now and just do her eyelashes and give her a dummy or a passy if you're in America. Um, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to root her eyelashes and seal them at the back so they don't come out. Hi Cookie. Hi. Did you come to say hello? And then what? she's licking me. <laughs> you're licking me. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a Percy or a Dummy. The cookie wants to come play. <laughs> um, yeah, I always think they look so funny when they've got long eyelashes like this. I need to cut them down. But yeah, she's rooted now. So I'm just waiting for um, the Dummies or the Passies to dry. And then I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to just feel her body real quick. Right, so now you can see I've put her body all together and then what I'm going to do is because she's getting glued, I've just rested her head in there. She's got um, a magnet for a dummy or a passy and I've rooted her eyelashes so she looks really good. A bit scary with her head off but yeah, I'm pleased with how she turned out. But yeah, so far it's taken me about an hour and about an hour and 40 minutes to complete her to this level and she needs to stay overnight now because she needs to dry out inside of her head um, and then tomorrow I will fill her 
and I'll put her together and she'll get packed and posted. Thanks for watching today. I hope that gave you a little bit of an insight. I think with um, what's happened with COVID, there's going to be a lot more working from home now. But um, this is something that I've been doing for quite a long time. I stopped for a little bit because I thought I'd just go back to work. But I enjoy doing it. I enjoy painting them and um, it's nice having nice customers. They're not all nice. You sometimes get some that are just a pain. But that's just, you know, working for yourself. One of the things that I did want to mention before I go is if you do decide to work for yourself, whether you do rebounds or anything else, um, just remember that you have to do everything. So um, I'm lucky my background is in credit control and accounts so I was able to do my own accounts no problem um, and it wasn't scary for me because I already knew what I was doing so that was good. Um, and you know the other thing is I mean you're literally everything, you're like the manufacturer, you're the person that, <laughs> that like, orders stuff, you're your own um, marketing, you, I mean you do literally every part of it if you're sort of a sole trader. So. At times it can be a bit difficult, sometimes, I mean, I like all aspects of it, but I hate doing paperwork, and I hate packing, I hate packing dolls, they're awful, once they're done, I feel, you know, I've got sort of a way of doing it now, and I do it pretty quickly, but I don't enjoy it, I don't enjoy packing them at all, I enjoy once they're dressed and I've taken photos and I can send them to the customer, because these ones are made to order, um, but I'm going to start doing some ready-made ones so that I can root their hair and, you know, then make them look, um, really realistic i like to do like the limited edition ones but um the kits are so expensive i don't bother now i just try to get bountiful baby kits and i do those ones and i'll sell those ones so yeah we'll see what happens if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and the other thing i was going to say is if you're interested in me doing some more videos like this and teaching you how to do reboarding or just talking to you about working for yourself or working from home then comment below and i will do that okay i'll see you on the next one